Chris is one of the hardest working dudes I've ever filmed with. Chris would charge the spot so hard that he'd tire himself out so quickly with no, you know, he wasn't drinking water or anything to replace it, so he'd get so overexerted that he'd end up throwing up. Is that good for a lens? <laughs> Is that what they suggest? I think so. Like Holy perfect shit. example of how overexhausted he, he'd get at a spot. Um, I mean, I could think of at least four different spots where that happened, and uh, it's pretty disgusting. But he, he and he'd always do it. You know what I mean? Like no matter how impossible the trick was, he'd manage to get it done. And sketchy uh, wood thing at UCI when he did the front twenty fakey one foot. That was just amazing. Like. When I went to Miami for like the five days that I only got one trick doing a uh, kickflip on a bank. Markovic, you got a trick? And then the next day he sat on the couch the whole day. I got sick. I know, I remember I got sick and I was on the couch for like three days on the couch straight. He stayed on that couch. He didn't even get up to piss or eat. Like people, he just said like, yo, give me a bag of chips or whatever. He sat on the couch the whole day. Next day, and then he does the uh, Backside Smith, dude. Next day, Backside Smith after sitting on that couch that whole day. I was on the couch longer than I got to skate the whole time I was there, and I heard nothing but endless stories of how fun it was, like right on the beach. Ed Salego's, like, notorious beach days. <laughs> ah, well, still a beach day, and everybody would just go to the beach and not skate, so. I got to skate one full day, and then that night, we tried to go out skating again, but we were like, yeah, okay, we'll just relax and go in the morning, and then woke up, skated all day, and then got on a plane and flew home. There was about eight different intros that we were supposed to do for my part. That was a, a, like not really a last minute thing, but it, it was sort of a last minute thing for the film because they had, you know, had to get their processing and stuff. And went up there in the morning, drove up there, and it was a pretty hot day too. And uh, we found the spot to, to do it at him. So we parked the car and we set up the camera and everything. And Josh didn't know if it was going to work because of the way of where he was. He wanted to get a lot closer. Or, or I don't know what, what he was, what the problem was, but I hear him like, <sighs> he's all frustrated. He's trying to get this stuff together. Cause nothing's working out. And then I just hear this, wham! And I look and the camera on the tripod just goes, wham! And lands like on the lens, like straight on the lens and like pulls the lens off the threading of his of his 16mm uh, camera and Josh is losing it at this point, like seriously freaking out. You know, and he's standing there and I'm like, <laughs> you try not to laugh because he's stressed so hard over this and Josh stresses out too much sometimes which is he I think he knows it too but um I think it worked out and Josh was all right with it but he was he was definitely about to lose it <laughs> you gotta laugh when Josh stresses so I was just sitting there just like oh man <laughs> 